Alaska. Just the mention of the name evokes images of unique beauty and immense vastness, a land whose vastness is equaled only by the unlimited possibilities for the people who call it home. Alaska's history dates far beyond the written word. Preserved in artifacts and tradition is a land rich in its diversity, populated by people resourceful enough to survive nature's harshest elements. It is a common belief that tribal ancestors migrated by way of Asia over a land bridge known as Beringia. These early explorers were hunters and gatherers, relying on boats and the waterways for travel in this new land, eventually settling throughout the state. Alaska stretches across more than half a million square miles of land and is one-fifth the size of the contiguous United States. This vastness maintains six distinct regions, each with its own topography and climate. Despite its geographic dimensions, the entire state is only populated by approximately 600,000 people, half of whom live in the Anchorage area. With a limited road system, rural Alaska is accessible only by boat or airplane. Located in the southwestern corner of the state is the Bristol Bay region. Here, there are approximately 7,500 year-round residents living in 32 villages served by the Bristol Bay Area Health Corporation. BBAHC is a tribal organization managing and operating the Kanakanek Hospital and 28 village clinics throughout the 46,000 square mile region. Today, the corporation maintains a multi-million dollar budget and employs over 300 people, one-third of whom live and work in the villages of Bristol Bay. Just over 20 years ago, the Bristol Bay Area Health Corporation formed as a company. At that time, we started with a staff of three. Today, I'm proud to say we're in excess of 300 people, and we provide services to all the folks of Bristol Bay, and we're now a company that's among the biggest in the state of Alaska. <laughs> Health care services in Bristol Bay have evolved to meet the changing needs of the residents. Tuberculosis, measles, and smallpox have given way to new diseases such as diabetes, arthritis, heart disease, and cancer. Let's just check, okay? The BBAHC's recruiting efforts target skilled medical professionals to assist in carrying out the organization's mission, which is to promote health with competence, a caring attitude with cultural sensitivity. At the center of the organization is Kanakanek Hospital in Dillingham, Alaska. Located approximately 330 air miles from the nearest major city and with limited access, Kanakanek is the staging ground for a health care system that spans an area the size of Ohio. This facility interweaves modern technology with native tradition. Programs such as the Native Foods Program are a good example of finding a balance between the old ways and the newest technology in health care delivery. Kanakanek Hospital offers a modern, well-equipped facility ideally suited to the unique role the BBAHC plays in delivering a primary health care program. The hospital supports a 15-bed inpatient facility and an outpatient clinic. The corporation also provides emergency medical services training, infant learning programs, dentistry, optometry, environmental health, alcohol and drug abuse treatment, and the community health aid program. Kanakanek Hospital also offers a modern laboratory facility with the most advanced equipment for chemical analysis and diagnostic research. Telemedicine programs help link the remote villages to Kanakanek Hospital, while the hospital is able to link with medical specialists in Anchorage and other states. The remoteness is an opportunity and a challenge to providing modern medical care. If we um, you know, take new physicians and put them out in this setting, I think they get a very wide variety of experiences, so very challenging experiences, because they are true family physicians out here. They have to see everybody, they have to see everything, they have to take care of the orthopedics, the pediatrics, the obstetrics, the urology, the whatever walks in the door. The community health aid program is the backbone of the corporation's health care system. With surrounding communities geographically remote from hospital care, villages maintain a primary health care clinic 
staffed by one or more community health aides. These residents are trained in basic primary care and emergency medical services. The supervision and training of village health aides is the responsibility of the professional staff within BBAHC. Each year, medical staff, including dental teams and nurse practitioners, schedule regular visits to the villages. The remainder of the time, a close working relationship is maintained through telephone communications. An important consideration in understanding the delivery of this health care system is the geographic distance between villages. Medical emergencies in remote locations require air travel to Dillingham for stabilization at Kanakanek and then possible transport to Anchorage where more specialized medical treatment can be provided. As a medical professional with the Bristol Bay Area Health Corporation, you will become a part of a dedicated team. People could say that you plant roots and it's hard to pick up and move, but I just really enjoy the people that I work with. We have a fairly small patient care population and uh, the Eskimo people that we work with are just very giving and kind and just share what they have with you and are very open. The corporation also offers its employees a drug-free and smoke-free work environment, not to mention other benefits such as moving expenses, medical, dental, life insurance, retirement, and a competitive salary. Your time off is a consolidation of vacation and sick time based on the number of hours worked. Kanakanek also provides an in-house exercise room for use by employees. And that's the group called AHA. Yes, take on me. 22 minutes past two, I'll be looking at the message. On the northern shores of the Nushagak Bay is the coastal community of Dillingham. Approximately 2,500 year-round residents call this home. It is a diverse community with strong native cultural ties to the traditional way of life. The waters surrounding Dillingham are the spawning grounds for the five species of wild Alaskan salmon. Probably the single most important cultural and natural resource of this area is the salmon. It has sustained the lives of native Alaskans for centuries and continues to support them both culturally and economically. Every year in early May, these now idle commercial fishing boats come alive in a short but usually profitable season. The local population swells to approximately 10,000 people as tons of salmon are harvested and processed. This town becomes a madhouse in the summer. We go from 2,500 people to 10,000. Everyone's hustling and bustling for fishing. It's incredible. The short summer months also bring extended daylight, providing more time to enjoy the spectacular outdoors, offering world-class sport fishing and hunting. Others can enjoy a day hike or one of the many excursions into the backcountry of Alaska's wilderness. The area surrounding Dillingham is part of the Wood Tikchik State Park, the largest of state parks in the United States. The Bristol Bay region is also home to Katmai and McNeil River, where visitors mingle with grizzly bears, and Round Island within the Togiak Wildlife Refuge, the largest walrus haulout in North America. By late September or early October, the temperature begins to dip far enough that it's a constant reminder the grip of winter is not far off. Residents complete subsistence activities by preparing meat and fish or gathering some of the many varieties of berries. The 65 degree average temperature of summer gives way to winter temperatures of near freezing and below. Low humidity and an abundance of sunshine make the region an ideal winter wonderland. Snow machining, cross-country skiing, and ice skating are popular winter activities. In addition, there are a number of community-based activities for the less adventure-minded. A limited amount of on-site housing is available for medical and support staff, and assistance from the corporation can be provided in locating adequate accommodations. The native culture sets a standard of strong family values and is supportive of the educational needs of its children. Schools in the local area all offer grades K through 12. Courses towards undergraduate and graduate degrees are offered through the University of Alaska. For preschool aged children, Dillingham supports a state licensed daycare facility as well as private daycare. Dillingham offers many of the services normally found in a rural community. There is an abundance of friendly and helpful people who live in this isolated setting. Life takes on a more social atmosphere. A daily trip to the post office or grocery stores results in the updating of the local news. One of the, the highlights of the, the normal day, you know, you come here, you get your communications from home, you get your bills and kind of uh, reminds you that you're part of the real world.
Local network television programming is distributed via a state-run satellite system known as ARCS. A more expanded package offering extensive programming is available from the local cable outlets. In any event, should the television not present the entertainment of your choice, there is always the video store. The local newspaper, Bristol Bay Times, is printed weekly, and the Anchorage Daily News is flown in each day, weather permitting. There are a number of religious organizations, including Lutheran, Catholic, Moravian, Assembly of God, and Baptist, to name a few. From Old World Russian Orthodox to modern-day Christianity, the blending of faiths offers a rich cultural and spiritual experience, each providing a number of activities throughout the year for their membership. For those who are looking for volunteer work, Dillingham offers some of the most challenging opportunities. The library, volunteer fire department, and rescue squad are examples of organizations that are run by volunteers. Dillingham continues to grow. It is a community where people have bonded and cultures have merged, resulting in a rich and rewarding experience for those who choose to call this home. always something to do. It's, some people think that since it's a light, isolated area and there aren't any malls and other things of that nature that uh, you have to be creative, but you really don't. Uh, I've been here a year and I'm far from doing uh, a lot of the things that I've set out to do. Uh, I think we'd all agree when you talk about the out of doors, Alaska sits alone at the top. And when you talk about Alaska, I think southwest Alaska, the Dillingham area offers a, a reasonable climate. I think numerous opportunities to do things and uh, that are accessible and not too difficult to get to. Anywhere from the rainbow trout fishing to hunting, just to sightseeing at uh, Walrus Island or Katmai National Park. I think Dillingham can do all those things for you and uh, it's just a fun place to be. Uh, I was looking for an adventure. I, I loved Dillingham the minute I came out for my site visit. Um, it, this area has so much to offer. Um, it was captivating and I knew right away that I wanted to live here and I wanted to work here. You kind of are on your own at times here, which is much more challenging. And I, I assume that uh, most people who come here are willing to take that challenge. Having um, medical students and residents here makes it more like a traditional teaching hospital, which it's it's kind of funny because we're such a small remote hospital you don't think of yourself as a teaching facility uh, but the presence of medical students and residents uh, makes it so that you are. The hardest part about being a physician out here is uh, also to me one of the most challenging and the best things it's the isolation it's two in the morning when you've got a critical patient and you have to make all the decisions right now to do the right thing. The reality is is when you come to Alaska if you're going to be in an area that's somewhat remote then um, improvisation should be a part of your, um, how shall I say, character or um, what you take with you whenever you go into the village. Uh, you just have to be flexible and that's the other word that comes up over and over again. You really have to be flexible and know that you can only do with what you have and you do the best you can. My health corporation career began 12 years ago. I started in the personnel department. I'm originally from Clark's Point. So I remember when the health corporation was a very small, minute organization with just the staff of three people. And I've seen it grow to the size of what it is today. And I've seen the services offered expand as well. And it's really exciting to see that. The Bristol Bay Area Health Corporation will continue to look for the most highly skilled health care professionals to join its team. The opportunity to be a part of this organization will be a rich and rewarding experience for everyone involved. Contact the Bristol Bay Area Health Corporation's Personnel Department at P.O. Box 130, Dillingham, Alaska, 99576, or call area code 907-842-5201 for information about employment opportunities in this progressive health care system.